one, two.
Okay. Hello. Good evening, Monks Jazz. What's going on? How's it going? First off, happy Friday. Yeah. I know, I know about y'all, but Friday, yeah, it's a great day. <laughs> um, so, as Colin introduced, my name is Alton Sinclair. This is my octet. Tonight, you're hearing some of Austin's best treasures, and I'm like combining a quote by, by my good friend right here, which I'm going to start off with. <laughs> like I said, remember, I have the mic. <laughs> Anyways, to my left, a very good friend, mentor, somebody who I, who I admire, who I always seek advice from, as well as somebody who I can joke horribly with, Dr. Adrian Ruiz, one of the finest trumpet players out here. <laughs> Another friend, another friend, where we've just started like seeing each other a lot more now. Now that like you know we're like kind of crossing paths, and unfortunately I'm leaving as Colin mentioned, but you know there's still Facebook. Um, but nonetheless, really fantastic alto player as you just heard. He's been on the scene for quite some time. He's played with Prince, right? Yeah, you played. Yeah, no. He's played with Prince. A uh, really great uh, band in town by the name of Grupo Fantasma and Brownout, correct? Yeah, long time. Yeah, so. You're hearing an, o an Austin OG, one of them. Gene Centeno, yeah. soon to be doctor, Gene Centeno. <laughs> so if you notice, and I'm not, like, trying to, I'm not like trying to embarrass these cats, but like, I always try to make sure that people who are on the bandstand with me, they're better and they're older than me. And, and it's for a couple of reasons. I'm super into education, and you'll hear, that, you'll hear about more about that later, but uh, whenever somebody with more experience is on the bandstand, it just makes everything else go much better. And, and that's like a big part about this music is mentorship, which is something that I love, uh, both giving and receiving. And so with that being said, somebody who I've admired for quite some time, and now I get to, you know, yeah, I've, well, all of us, man. One of, one of the baddest cats out here, you know, you can find him in Downbeat. You can also find him on Jazzes, all the publications, and a real true Austin, Jim, and, and elsewhere, Elias Hasslinger. Also, he grew up here in Austin. He's from Austin, so like, that's, I mean, come on. That's a, man, I'm old. <laughs> that's a unicorn, as far as I'm concerned. Somebody who I met a couple years ago whenever I first moved back to town uh, after grad school, somebody who I've really just loved hearing every single time, and I've asked him to play Barry Sax anytime I have the opportunity to, to hire him. Really fantastic player and a sweet cat, as well as you'll hear later, phenomenal soloist, Mr. Eric Hargett. <laughs> I, I have a lot of jokes with all my friends up here, and, and this one is no different. Puro 956, my main man on the piano, amazing pianist, as well as great friend and meme lord, as they say, Damian Garcia. <laughs> So I'm gonna embarrass this cat just a little bit. I, I first got to uh, first got to meet this cat a couple months ago on a quintet hit at the Elephant Room, and uh, that I can mention that here. I think, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm just, I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. I'm just making sure. So, anyways, a really, really phenomenal, really phenomenal bassist. You can see him primarily with very with a lot of jazz artists, but also with Lady Gaga, and you probably saw a close up of him on the Grammy. So none other than Mr. Daniel Foose. And then I also met this same cat, uh, just came from, to us from the East Coast, and, he, and uh, he's going to be the new professor of drum set over at University of Texas at Austin. M yeah. M many, of, many of our alma maters, if not influences, and somebody who I really admire his playing, as well as, as, well as information that I seek whenever I talk to him about the East Coast. I'm moving to the East Coast, if that's not already been mentioned. But somebody who I really have grown to love his playing, and, and, and as a human being, just really, really great person. So... Adam Jackson. Yeah. <clears throat> My name is Alton Sinclair. I'm playing the trombone. I'm I'm do <laughs> I'm writing all the music tonight that hopefully you en hopefully you enjoy. We'll, we'll wait till the end of the night to see if you did. But that first one was a was an arrangement. Uh, one of the first tunes I learned in high school. Uh, was was a horse silver tune by the name of Nutville, and I wanted to uh, to put that in my own pen of arrangement, and so I got to bring it to life with this band. 
And so this next one is an original that you'll hear on a forthcoming album on the Positone record label. It was a part of a collective, and uh, this features some really great uh, cats such as Boris Kozlov, Donald Edwards, Misha Tinsanoff, uh, some up-and-coming stars as well as like Marcus Howell and uh, Willie Morris and, and myself. And this will be out later this year, I think around November, on the, on, with a group called Something Blue. So you'll hear this later on, but for now, you're gonna hear the live version. This is titled, Here to Stay. And once again, big thank you to Colin Shook for Monks. <laughs> the best live stream in the damn country. I say it again, the best live stream in the damn country. You can clap for that.
y'all dug that. Anyways, that was titled Here to Stay. And I wrote that for a couple of reasons. Uh, the first one was I was told to bring in a composition, so you better bring one in. And, uh, and, and the second one was um, I have a huge backing with, with, my, with my heritage. Um, so I'm part Turkish and part Mexican-American, but uh, the Mexican-American side comes through uh, Spaniard blood. And many, without going too much into geography and, and world history lessons, um, I did a project uh, for my last album that combined the two influences. But, but through that, I found a lot of information that I didn't necessarily use, but I was able to use that in a different way. You know, they always say, don't throw away a composition. Fun fact, Take the A Train was in the garbage. No, it was, it was. Uh, uh, Billy Strayhorn threw it away and didn't bring it to rehearsal the day that they ran it. Lo and behold, he would have lost a lot of money. But furthermore, you never throw something away because it could be used elsewhere. And so it was. I was able to find a way to integrate uh, hard bop as well as uh, bossa nova. So this next one, uh, many of us, I would say, have had the honor of playing with the legendary Four Tops. And I actually wrote this during the, lo the bulk of the lockdown. And I wrote this as a, uh, as a tribute to my lovely wife, Marina Sinclair. Say hi. Anyways, so my, my, my lovely wife who continues to support my career, I mean, that's why I'm actually in New York, so anyways, this one is dedicated to my wife and as well as anybody else who is, who is here to dedicate something, I'm doing you a favor, so tell your wife or your significant other. <laughs> pro tip, three years of marriage, pro tip. Anyways, anyways, this is titled, Ain't No Woman Like the One I Got. Thank you. 
Four Tops, the Four Tops. Uh, the very first, one of my very first touring gigs was actually with the Four Tops and the Temptations, and and playing with them is like being in a history book. It's it's awesome. Um, so I, whenever whenever I uh, whenever I actually recorded that initially, it, like I said, it was during the bulk of the lockdown, and my really good friend, who's the MD for the uh, for the Four Tops, actually recorded on the re actually recorded on that recording that I made. And it was it was so awesome to be able to hear that come to life, especially with somebody who's so involved with Duke, the original, you know, one of the original four tops. So it's really great to be able to bring that to Austin, Texas, especially since they were just here in March. If any of y'all caught that at Bass Concert Hall. Um, so this next one I actually did in my master's degree. Um, I went to Michigan State for my for my graduate work, and I had a really tough time playing in we jazz nerd time. Sorry, I had a really tough time playing in odd meters, meaning not 4-4, uh, four, four, or, or they c sometimes call it common time. So this is very uncommon time, and especially with this standard. This is, a, uh, this is a rendition that I did for my recital, and it's called My Shining Hour. But the funny thing is, whenever I first started playing this, I could not play it. And there's a whole, there's a whole funny story about that, but a whole other place. Anyways, but before we play it, I wanted to bring up the proprietor of this, of this place, Mr. Colin Shook. Thank you, Alton. Everybody put it together for Alton and this fantastic band. Um, again, my name's Colin Shook. Welcome to Monk's Jazz. This is my jazz listening room live streaming experiment here on the east side of Austin. Uh, thank you guys for coming out to uh, see this place. I see a lot of fresh faces here and a lot of fresh uh, you know, new viewers onto the live streaming everything. Uh, Back in 2016, we started Monk's Jazz as a pop-up listening room, going to different art galleries and bike shops and all these spots, because I'm a pianist as well. All of us play music at all these spots around town, but not a single place is a, you know, a, a real listening room. And so I wanted to create that spot. We had two, three shows a month for about five years, and the pandemic started streaming, doing these uh, live streams out to the world when nobody else could play live gigs and moved into this room about a year ago. We've got about 45, 50 seats in here and we're doing about 15 shows every month now and we're just approaching 400 concerts just like this, showcasing the amazing talent here in Austin, Central Texas, a lot of people turning through. So I just want to really, um, I just really, really want to thank you all for coming out to uh, check out this experiment. I want to tell you about some upcoming shows. Tomorrow night, we have the Michael Malone Quintet. He's a great uh, tenor saxophone player here in town. Uh, that'll be at 7.30 uh, p.m. tomorrow night. And we're closing out the week on Sunday night with the Jacob Weiss Quartet. He's a guitarist. He'll be doing a review of music from the Jazz Piano Masters from across the ages. So please go to the Monk's Jazz website. Sign up for the email list if you want to see more good jazz. If you're tuning in online, please like, share, you know, all that stuff on Facebook. Uh, go hit that YouTube URL, the video and audio quality is so much better over there. Subscribe, all that stuff, but most importantly, go to the Venmo, the PayPal, support these fine musicians. Thank you. Colin Shook, Colin Shook. But you know, I want to brag on Colin a little bit longer, plus it gives us a time to like kind of cool off. I don't know if you can tell, but it's hot up here. But Colin, and I, I, dare I say single-handedly, I'm, I'm sure you've had help from others, but from, from what I saw, and from what many of us saw, Colin single-handedly really kept us in Austin playing together from like April 2020 to, to now. So if it was not for Colin, we wouldn't have the Austin Jazz Society live streams. We wouldn't have the weekly Tuesday, Thursday hangs online at Monks, the, the, ones, that we, the ones where we'd be like, oh, whoa, whoa, what did he do this week? So Colin, seriously, a savior of the Austin Jazz scene. <laughs> It's true. When, when you're bad, you're bad. Colin, you're bad. So, get, so getting on to, to the music portion, which is what he originally intended, this is my shining hour, and it's going to feature some odd time signature. But there will also be some swing. You can't, my, one, of my, one of my mentors said, you can't have life without the blues. And also, a mentor to Elias and many of us here, you can't play a set without the blues. So, right? You can't let a set go by without the blues. So blues, swing, bebop, hard bop, free jazz, all of it. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's all it's all welcomed here. So we hope you dig it. And for those of you tuning in online, thank you so much. Make sure you uh, check out. I think it's in that side. If I'm if I'm trying to remember the correctly, it's right there for the Venmo and the PayPal. So I'm trying. I'm trying out here. I'm trying.
okay, we've played four songs and I have yet to mention an album. I think it's safe. So, this next tune is on my uh, second album with a, with a really good friend of mine, actually best man at my wedding, and uh, you know, continues to be a great resource. I know, it's out of here, y'all. We're, we're, tr- we're playing, we're playing for y'all. We're here for y'all, remember that. Without y'all, I mean, it can be fun, but not really. So, give it up for y'all for being here. Give it up. <clears throat> But anyway, it's time for a shameless plug. Um, So this is on my second album. This tune I wrote during a dark period during grad school. No shade, no shade, no shade to grad school. It was just, it was tough out there for a Texas boy. You dig? So this one is titled When Reality Sets In. And I wrote this in the style of a bolero, which uh, which is a popular dance style in South America that is migrated its way up to here in ballroom dancing. And you can sometimes hear it with like, a, you can sometimes, not confuse it, but, but uh, hear similarities between that and tango. And, uh, and so something that I really love about writing originals is finding a purpose behind it, as well as kind of like some research about it, because it makes you sound smarter, I think. And, uh, and, it, and it just helps whenever it comes to like the legitimacy of what you want to write. So anyways, without further ado, this is titled When Reality Sets In. Thank you. 
So, that was an original of mine. Let's give it up for Damian Garcia one more time on the piano. So, as I mentioned earlier, I'm very much into education, and I had the privilege of being a professor uh, in the Central Texas area, or further up in the Central Texas area, rather, at University of Mary Hardin Baylor. And so I was able to teach a young crop of students and teach them trombone lessons, as well as uh, be the director of their jazz ensembles. And I met this young cat whenever I first came back. There was like an all-star band that was going on for the high schoolers, and, and I got asked to lead it as a fellow alumni from the school program that I was associated with. And so. I found, I found this one uh, particular player, not to say that they weren't all great, but especially this one. Um, his name is Ernie Lopez, and he's very talented, and he like, listens to everything. And, and something that I really admire is like, he's like, kind of like, like pushing his way into it, and I love that. I love that. I mean, I was like that. I'm a very pushy guy. I don't know if you can tell or not, but I'm a very pushy guy. And uh, so buy my album. No. Uh, anyways. <laughs> But anyways, um, uh, exactly, gotta make, gotta make a living, mom. Anyways, so, yes, yeah, my mom, by the way, everybody. <laughs> so, anyways, with that being said, I get the privilege of now having somebody who's actually younger than me coming in to sit in on my gig. So give it up for Ernie Lopez. <laughs> Plus, he's always like tuning into the live streams, like, got to give my man a bone, you know what I'm saying? So, how old are you, Ernie? 19. He's 19. He's 14, everybody. No, I'm joking. <laughs> he's 19. No, I'm serious. Before, before 10 years ago, whenever I was like coming into town, I, I used to be able to sneak into a couple of the establishments. Don't let the beard fool you. But I used to be able to sneak into establishments. I'd have my horn on my back. I wouldn't look anybody in the eye. And I would just go straight to the back of wherever those places were. And uh, I would pull my horn out. And, and somebody by the name of Mike Murkai would tell me, would tell me, come on up. And, uh, and then I would leave so that way I wouldn't get kicked out. So I'm trying to return. The, you're lucky you, you won't get kicked out. Or you might. You, you never know. <laughs> so Ernie Lopez going to be sitting in with us on Voyage, Kenny Barron's Voyage.
Ernie Lopez. Ernie Lopez. Colin, is he kicked out? No. <laughs> yeah, Ernie, great job, man. And he was a pianist in my jazz ensemble for two years. Really, really, really looking forward to hearing him in a couple, in, in pretty soon actually, but even even longer, I'm looking forward to hearing him. He's he's actually attending a camp that I'm on faculty at uh, by the name of Brevard Music Center. So he'll be there. Uh, he'll be there playing piano with, with some really great instructors and, and people of jazz. So we got a couple more for you. For those of you that do know me, you know that I'm a huge dog person. You know that I'm a huge dog person. Yes, I'm a huge dog person. So. Of course, what kind of pet owner would I be if I had not run a tune for my dog? Um, I still have another one to write, so I'm, I'm getting there. But this one is for my very, my very, my wife and I's very first dog, uh, dog, our our baby. Her name's Navy, and uh, and my other dog's name is JJ. For the yes, for the jazz, yeah. So I have big ass dogs. Um, I do. Um, JJ's like 96 pounds and then Navy's 65, so I have big ass dogs. Um, and I love them for it. So, anyways, with all that being said, I wrote this tune for Navy, and this is called Navy's Mood. Thanks once again for being here. We have, we have just a couple more, but it means the world to see a sold out show. That's like, it's fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. 
righty, we got time for one more? We're done? All right, my man. Okay, so really quick, I want to thank my band. I want to thank you all for being here. Um, Dr. Adrian Ruiz on the trumpets and flugelhorn. Gene Centeno, soon to be doctor. Elias Hasslinger. Eric Hargitz. Damian Garcia. Daniel Foos. Adam Jackson. Monks Jazz, Colin Shook. My name is Alton Sinclair. It's been great to be here. This is probably one of my this is probably one of my last shows for quite some time. Um, like I like I mentioned before, I'm moving to New York City. We actually just got approved for our place, which, by the way, that is the worst application I've ever gone through in my life. Um, I think I'd rather start a mortgage through like Wells Fargo than do that. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all don't have your mortgage through Wells Fargo. Sorry, if so, sorry. Uh, anyways, so this last one, I always. I'm, I'm huge about dedication and mentorship and, and paying it back and paying it forward. So this last one is dedicated to the late, great Roy Hargrove, who is one of the most sought-after, life-changing, music-changing individuals uh, that music ever saw, uh, let alone jazz music. So this is for Roy Hargrove. This was uh, an adaptation that I took and made my own melody, so it's an original, but dedicated to him. And this is after a, a tune on his only big man record titled Miss Garvey, Miss Garvey. But this, something about Roy Hargrove was he always played with a pocket. And so this is called The Pocket. Thank you once again, Monks Jazz. I do have CDs available. I do actually do. Uh, so if you want to come visit me about with that afterwards, let me know. Everybody needs another uh, uh, cup coaster at home. So anyways, <laughs> so since y'all probably don't have CD players. All right, The Pocket. Eric Hargan.
Josh Aslinger.
Adam Jackson, Daniel Foos, Damien Garcia, Adrian Ruiz, Gene Centeno, Elias Haslinger, Eric Hargett, Monks Jazz, Ernie Lopez, Colin Shook. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all once again. And if you feel so inclined, make sure you tip, make that Venmo PayPal thing happen. Everybody get home safe. <laughs>